what you see here is kind of how I built the brain for my Reddit AI agent. So today I'm just going to go through kind of how I thought about this, how I kind of built it and put everything together so that my AI agent can go onto Reddit, answer posts it should have knowledge about. So I think we're just going to get straight into it here. So you can see I had to start by selecting some kind of topics I wanted my AI agent to have knowledge about so we can get good responses to these posts on Reddit. So you can see uh, some examples here. I wanted my agent to have knowledge about, let's say, Claude 3, the term AI agent, Mistral 7B, and a whole bunch of other keywords I will show you later. So what I did, uh, I went ahead and kind of created something I called brain content for these topics, right? So it consists of kind of our knowledge base. We have some rules that the agent has to follow. We have example pairs of like uh, Reddit comments and answers I have given there. And I, I tried to, I have started to include some bad examples of what I don't want. And all of this brain content here is going to be, of course, fed into context into our prompt. So you can see this is kind of how I set it up. We're going to take a look at the prompt after, but we have like example comments. And then we feed in our example pairs. We have the knowledge base. We feed in our knowledge base. And the prompt gets very big, right? But uh, we are using a sheep model, so it doesn't matter too much. And here we have kind of an example of what I can feed into our brain, right? So all about AI's Chris favorite model for coding at the moment. So here I kind of said Claude 3 Opus. And I wrote something about Claude 3 Opus, what I like about it. Uh, I gave some factual information about Claude 3 Opus, so the context window, potential uses, differentiators, the highest intelligence than any other model available, and I have some information about the price right for Claude 3 Opus. And this kind of I did for uh, a lot of these AI models. So let me sh just show you a quick draft of kind of my brain. So here we are kind of into the file I have called the knowledge base. So you can see there's a lot of information here, 565 lines. So if we go at the bottom here, I put in some information about the RAG. So that's Retrieval Augmented Generation, right? And yeah, we have some information about here. I kind of want our agent to know about. If we go on top, you can see all about AI's Chris knowledge about AI models. So we have closed source models. So Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, it has a 1 million context window. We have Claude uh, GPT-4 Turbo, we have Claude 3 Haiku, and yeah, just go on and on and feed in a bunch of information here. And we have, uh, let's say here, you can kind of see we have, I think we have closed uh, open source models. So you can see down here, open source models, Mistral 7B, Mixtral, and yeah, you kind of get the point. We feed in a lot of different stuff here. And I even included some information about NVIDIA hardware, so NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs, H100s, B200s. So all the kind of the topics I want my AI agent to have information about that we can use to answer Reddit comments. And you can see we have the information about the latest LMC's chat arena leaderboard, so I kind of fed in all of that. You can see Cloudtree Opus on top here. And we have, yeah, you can see information about Llama Index, Langchain, and all the things I could think of that an AI agent that's going to go onto Reddit and look at a few specific topics has to have knowledge about to give a good answer, right? And here you kind of see I have, uh, I think it's 15 comments so far, 16 comments. I kind of like, so I gave like this pair example. So we have the post title, we have the post content. And I kind of included the response here from me. So this is all responses that I think was very good. And I kind of want the AI agent to mimic when it responds to different comments on Reddit, right? And again, kind of same here. Here's some rules I want the agent to follow. So you can see, try to promote your YouTube channel all about AI where you do experiments, demos with LLMs and AI where it fits. So this is kind of the the part of the agent that I wanted to do some kind of promotion for my YouTube channel, right? But in a very subtle way. A good tip I want to give you if you want to build your kind of brain is I use perplexity.ai to kind of, let's say here I said, explain what RAG is for me. And then I got a pretty good answer here about retrieval augmented generation. And this is something I can just feed straight into my brain. So a good tip is to use perplexity to kind of 
uh, create the content for your brain, right? So for me, I think that worked out pretty good, but I also tried to add some of my own knowledge so the bot gets a bit more personal, right? So yeah, that is basically how I built this up. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the prompt for we kind of need a full prompt to see how this works in practice, right? But if we move on and take a look at how the agent works here, because this is the other part, right? So this agent is kind of built up to search and fetch uh, Reddit posts. Uh, so we fetch the title and we fetch the uh, content from these keywords we search for. And these keywords will of course have to be uh, the topics we have information about. So we're gonna take a look at that soon too. And I added a feature that uh, if the post contains a URL or an image, it doesn't have any like content, like text. It just has a URL or an image. Uh, we're gonna scrape that URL and try to bring that into the content. And we're gonna use the Claude 3 image elevation model to look at the image and get a description back. So this goes over to kind of our uh, Python code. I've just called it agent system here. And it sends this post out to the Claude 3. I'm using the Sonnet API. Very happy with the, that here. It's kind of cheap and it produces good results. So this, this kind of gets combined with our AI agent brain to construct the comment we will have then again post on Reddit or respond to the Reddit uh, post in like a comment form, right? Uh, so basically, it's a pretty easy setup, the actually agent part. The hard part is gonna create a brain uh, or a system that generates good answers, right? Kind of the agent part here is pretty easy to set up. Uh, but yeah, that is basically how it works. I think we're just gonna go through a few lines of uh, key lines in the code. And then we're gonna do some testing. I'm gonna show you some examples of what kind of results uh, this whole system did produce, right? So I just want to start by showing you, this is kind of the setup I have for keywords or topics. So I have selected a few different subreddits. So we are on the Singularity, OpenAI and Local Llama subreddit uh, for now. That is what I have been testing on. And here are the topics or keywords we are searching for when we are looking at, uh, looking for posts to make a comment on. So let's say we have Opus, RAG, In Context Training, Haiku, Claude, NVIDIA, GPT-4. Yeah, we have we have a few keywords here, right? AI agents, Langchain, Llama Index. You can add as much as you want here, right? So that is kind of a key line. So this is something you have to adjust as you go to kind of select what kind of subreddits and post types you want to look for. Next up is kind of the prompt we use. This is, of course, very important. So th the way I set this up is I have context here. This is going to be what I'm calling the in-context training because this prompt is going to be very big. So I just want to quickly show you how big this prompt is going to get. So you can see here I pasted the full prompt into this token counter and we ended up on 9,000 tokens. So every single API request is going to contain 9,000 tokens. <laughs> So yeah, you can see this could get expensive if we are using like the big models like Opus and GPT-4. But if you're using cheaper models, this doesn't matter too much. And if we answer like 10 comments, that's just gonna be a few cents, right? But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very big input prompt, of course. And yeah, you kind of get the reason for this because we feed in every single thing we have in the brain. So we feed in example comments, we feed in the knowledge base, the rules, the bad examples. And here we kind of feed in the, the post title from the Reddit post we fetched. We feed in either the post com uh, content, the URL uh, scrape content, or we feed in the image description. And then we follow kind of our prompt. So learn from the context above, write a comment in lowercase uh, from the task in the same length style as the example comments. Uh, yeah, provide a brief. Yeah, you can kind of read this prompt yourself if you want to. But I try to always reference back to these uh, re uh, variables up here that contains some kind of information from our brain, right? So that is kind of how I built this up. And yeah, so far it's been working pretty good. And yeah, quite happy about it. The final key lines of the code I wanted to show you is this elapsed time I created. So this is gonna do like a random wait time between 30 and 60 minutes uh, for now. I am thinking of increasing this to between 60 and 120 minutes. So we're only gonna post like a comment like uh, once an hour or like once every two hours because there's no point in spamming. Uh, that was not the idea behind this. 
And yeah, we have like a countdown that kind of counts down how much remaining time it is until we're going to do the next comment and so on, right? And yeah, there's one more thing that is quite important. Let me just quickly show you that. And that is kind of the part you see here. So we have a load replied post and save replied post. Because we want to save the IDs of the posts we already have uh, did, a, did a comment on. Because we don't want to do comments on every uh, multiple comments on one post. So every time we make a comment now on a post, we save that ID. And each time the script starts again, we're going to load those posts. And we're going to avoid them when we search for new posts, right? And that was quite important because other than that, I just kept ended up spamming the same posts with comments. That was quite horrible, but uh, this kind of solved this. So I think that's it for the code. Like always, if you are interested in getting access to this code yourself, uh, just follow the link in the description, become a member of the channel. I'm going to post this on our community GitHub. You will get access to the full code and you can adjust the brain to your needs and you can start using this uh, yeah, AI agent for Reddit. So let me show you how this works now. Uh, it's pretty easy. Basically, we just have to start the script. So yeah. And it's going to start searching uh, using our keywords. So it's searching the server at Singularity. And it's going to look for those keywords. And it's going to find a post with those keywords inside the title. And it's going to use our brain to create a comment. So you can see here. And here we kind of are waiting to do a comment again. So here we kind of answer this, the post here. Let me zoom in a bit. And here is our answer, right? So I've been waiting for Claude to get tool use capabilities, been able to interact with external APIs and data sources is huge. And uh, yeah, something about this. And you can see at the end here, I do a lot of AI LLM stuff on my YouTube channel, all about AI. Feel free to check it out. We're almost at 150K subs now. So that was kind of my subtle promotion. So let's over to Re uh, Reddit and kind of see if uh, we actually did post this comment, right? And yeah, you can see over here on Reddit, we commented this three minutes ago. If we click on the post here, you can kind of see this was a URL. I don't know if we did scrape this. <laughs> I'm not sure, to be honest, but it's on X. I don't think we did, but uh, we got a big title here. So we kind of could uh, do an answer just from the title. So you can see, yeah, we got the comment out here. And yeah, that worked pretty good, if you ask me. Let's check out a few other comments I made using this system. So here is kind of a, it's someone asking about uh, a 3090 versus a 40 Super TGI. Getting started on my own build for the first time. Uh, and it's asking about these GPUs. So it says, hey there for your local home setup with Llama 13B, 70B and Voicecraft. I'd probably go with the RTX 3090, 24 gigabyte. That extra VRAM will come in super handy for those massive models, especially if you want to run multiple instances. Plus the 39 is just a beast in general. The 4070 is, now, uh, is newer and more efficient, but 16 GB VRAM might feel a bit tight. Just my two cents to someone who plays around the LLMs. A lot from my YouTube channel all about AI. <laughs> so that was a subtle promotion again. But I, I was pretty happy with that. this answer, so I can, if I want to, I can take this post and this answer and feed it back into my brain as an example of comments I like, right? Just one more quick example here so you can kind of see uh, some of my comments have been really much upvoted. So this had 11 upvotes. So that was pretty interesting. <laughs> I didn't kind of kind of expect that. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that is kind of what I wanted to share with you today. Had a lot of fun building this AI agent brain. And of course, if you want access to the full Reddit agent code, I'm going to be posting that to the community GitHub. So just follow the link in the description and become a member of the channel. And you can, yeah, try this out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, I learned a lot from this actually. And uh, just treating data and collecting data and kind of structuring data. I felt alert a lot about that. And this is a good uh, beginner's project if you kind of want to get into data collection and trying to cipher data and see kind of how that works uh, while actually building something that is slightly useful, <laughs> I think. Uh, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and hopefully I see you again on Wednesday. Also, don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, see you soon.